evening prayer for Tuesday of Holy Week. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, stir up in us the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and walk with you in newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 55, verses 13 to 24, and we'll say it together. For it was not an open enemy that reviled me, for then I could have borne it. Nor was it my adversary that puffed himself up against me, for then I would have hid myself from him. But it was even you, one like myself, my companion and my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the multitude in the house of God. Let death come suddenly upon them. Let them go down alive to the pit, for wickedness inhabits their dwellings, their very hearts. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening and morning and at noonday, I will pray and make my supplication, and he shall hear my voice. He shall redeem my soul in peace from the battle waged against me, for many have come upon me. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear and bring them down. They will not repent, for they have no fear of God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friend and has broken his covenant. His speech was softer than butter, though war was in his heart. His words were smoother than oil, yet are they naked swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you, and will not let the righteous fall forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, 
that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. We're reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 6, beginning to read at verse 11. Six, starting at verse 11. See what large letters I make when I am writing in my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Even the circumcised do not themselves obey the law, but they want you to be circumcised so that they may boast about your flesh. May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is anything, but a new creation is everything. As for those who will follow this rule, peace be upon them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Here ends the reading. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. By his wounds you have been healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The Gospel Canticle God's love for us is revealed in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God's love for us is revealed in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And so in a time of silent prayer, we bring before the Lord those things that are weighing heavy on our hearts today. We ask these prayers in the name of Jesus, who is our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take, him up, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 